All right, so today we're going to go over the Bravo 2015 Pit. We're going to give you the tips and tricks from J2 Fit Human Performance to really knock this out. So your first element, 90 seconds on, is going to be your box jump or step up. A couple key things that a judge is going to be looking for, Mike, while you try to take some jumps here. Want to make sure that what he's doing is he's hip, uh, full hip and knee extension at the top, and then he's dismounting. He can either jump down or step down, making sure, once again, hips are opening before he jumps off. Coaches here at J2Fit, what we're going to recommend for most people is to do the uh, step up. So Mike, let's show him the step up. How you want to do it is position yourself on the corner, and then you're going to step away. Good. Make sure that you open the hip at the top before you descend or it will be a no rep. Um, what you can do to get really good at this is you can alternate your feet like you're climbing really tall stairs. Right? You want to think about running your hands up. So pumping the hands when you go. That's that. 90 seconds all out. 20 seconds leading into your next exercise. All right, so after your 20 second break, we're gonna go right into 90 seconds of sit-ups. This is the element number two here. So what Mike Dewar is gonna do right here is gonna make sure that he lays all the way back, hands in reach past his head. He's gonna find his anchor by using his feet, clamping those heels together, pushing the knees out. When he comes up for that sit-up, he's gonna make sure that his chest will pass the hip crease, making it a full repetition, followed by going all the way back, touching the ground, trying to aim to touch the toes. Of course, you can work on speed here by making sure when you get up to the top, nice little exhale, catch your air, and back out. All right, so following your 20 second rest period, uh, we're then gonna transition to your third element, which is going to be the air squat. The biggest things we're looking for here at the top is that you reach full hip and knee extension, and then at the bottom is your hip crease resides below the kneecap, so you will be below parallel. So some tips here, as you can see when he descended, he threw out his arms. When he ascends, come back up, you want to pump the hands down, open the hips. You want to make sure that your feet slightly wider than shoulder width, toes uh, out, and your knees are kind of separating the floor, driving them open. So let's get a couple quick fires here. You see he's breathing at the top, hips below, knees at the bottom opening up full hip and knee extension at the top. All right, this is your fourth part of the pit here. This is your burpees. This is gonna be all out effort of body weight. So, Mike Dewar is gonna show you right now, burpees. So from the ground here, you'll see he's going to pull his shoulders back and retract, bring the chest up tall. When he's trying to bring the feet forward, he's going to snap the hips and land those feet flat. Good. Next move is going to be that explosive jump. Make sure feet leave the ground, hands clap to overhead. Go. Good. Looking for that explosive drive with the hip snap. Good. You can leave with a little snake from the chest. Good, uh, and explosive. 